if you have eye problems, eyesight problems, eye eye pressure, eye floaters, I am I don't care what kind of eye problems you have, pay attention. I'm going to show you how to resolve it. Okay, um, this video will focus on the actual external side, not the internal. For the internal side to heal the eyes, you need to cleanse your liver, your kidneys, your GI tract and your lymphatic system. They are the root cause of the problem, your eye problems. When you have mucus accumulation in your head, it's going to affect your eyes, your ears, nose, mouth. It's going to affect all those parts. So you have to detox the body and remove the waste from your head. You clean your ears using an ear syringe. You clean your eyes using an eyesight formula. You um, clean your nasal passage with nutty pot, essential oils. You massage your scalp. Um, you use cayenne pepper and ginger. These are very powerful um, circulation stimulants. And the more blood to the head, uh, the better the function of the eyes. See, so cayenne pepper and ginger powder. I have it on my site. You take it twice daily as a tea, hot. Drink it hot. You're gonna feel the difference immediately. Uh, the eyesight formula on my site. You use it. Wash your eyes twice a day. If you take like, a few drops, put it into eye cup. Wash your eyes. Very powerful. Very potent. Okay. That alone, you're gonna feel the difference. Uh, lemon cleanse, fastest way of breaking down mucus and dissolving the mucus. Okay. Uh, but liver connection to the eye very important so make sure you resolve that now let's get to the stimulation of blood flow to the eyes because it's very important and we're going to use um, uh, acupressure points and massages so the first thing we're going to do is the acupressure points um, you're going to make use of a pen like this if you don't have the pen then you can always um, use a massage use your fingers okay but there are spots on the body that can that reflect to the eyes and you heal the uh, massage those spots you're going to be uh, healing the eyes helping heal the, heal the eyes in combination with the um, the detox I just explained, okay? The first one is here. You see your, your finger right here, the point right here. You hold a massages area, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but the, the point right here, you hold a massages area for a good two minutes. It's, it's a direct um, correlation to the eyes, the health of the eye, okay? That's, that's step number one. The next point is above the tear duct right here. This helps relieve pain, redness, okay, and strain on the eye. So you put the acupressure pen there and apply the pressure, or you just massage it gentle right there. Very powerful, very potent. Two minutes each. Next spot is here, where the eyebrow ends, right here, okay? This is helps with headaches, eye strain, eye pressure, okay? And it's good for circulation to the eye. So you hold it, put the pressure. If you have an acupressure pen, put the point one here and here and allow it to do its work. Two minutes each side. The next point is above the middle of the, the eyebrow, in the middle, about one finger away. So right here, okay? You massage this area. It's good for headaches, good for the eye. Push circulation to the heart, to the head and to the eye. Two minutes each side, the middle of the eyebrow, above it, one finger away. The next point is right here, okay, between the eyeball and the socket, and you massage for two minutes. It's good for eye pressure, eye pain, good for circulation to the eye, to heal the eye. The next spot is the, uh, the outer end of the eyebrow, right here. You massage for two minutes. Very potent, very powerful. Okay, this helps with, with pushing blood to the eyes and helps with the eye, eye strain, eye pressure. The next point is the middle of the eyebrow not on top but the middle of the eyebrow right here helps with eye pressure eye pain as well redness of the eye swelling of the eye it helps push blood to the eye two minutes each side and the last spot is a, a depression point right here okay see not here but right here also over two minutes it also affects it helps the eye as well to recover the eyes very powerful very potent two minutes each now once you've done all this massage you're going to go even further and you're going to open up the pathway of elimination or blockage on the back of the head so the entire head is is supported obviously by your your neck here but the, the at the back of the head here where uh, above the the orbital bone section you can massage this area this area if you massage it properly you feel a slight pain uh, if you have congestion of the eyes and the head you feel pain and that pain indicates where you should be massaging more okay you're going to massage it for 15 minutes at a very minimum also, when you look at your ear, down, downwards over here, you massage this section right here, where the, the hole is, all the way down here. You massage both sides as well. Okay, this is going to help you as well. Um, open up the circulation and congestion so you can leave the area and come down. This is how you take care of the eyes when it comes to external massages. Internal, uh, internally, the diet has to be on point, helps with the liver, the kidneys, the bowels. Um, these are important and connected to, to the eyes. And the steps I share of you clean the mucus of the head. If you do all that, your eyes will start to improve. In a matter of a couple of weeks, sometimes sooner, you start to see the effects and benefits. Make sure you excise your eyes. Use an um, eyeglass where it has holes in them. There's a lot of holes in them. The eye, the eyeglass allows you to um, focus your eyes and train your eyes so you get stronger. Your eyes are like, they're, they're like every other muscle. You have to work it out. If you don't work it out, it gets weaker. So make sure you follow these steps. Share it with somebody you care about and let them finally get the eyes and the eye health they deserve.